All right, what's up, guys? Bobby Reds against Twenty One here. So this is part three of my Python tutorial series, and today we are. I am going to show you how to get input from the user. So basically, with every calculator, a person needs to input numbers in order for it to work. So um, I'm just gonna be nice here. I'm just gonna prompt the user. I'm just gonna greet the user. So. Here's a little review print, and I welcome to my calculator. Calcul yeah, I'm kind of having a brain for here, so look to my calculator, and then you you do not have to do this. So print, and then now we're gonna have the user input. So. I don't know why my mouse is flashing, blinking like that, so print uh, please enter in a number and then now we're gonna have a variable to store um, the user's input, so let's do num1 is equal to int for integer, parentheses, input, we're going to put in empty parameters. So, yep. so basically, when a person enters in, let's say, 9, it will be stored in this uh, variable. So if they want, if, um, if you want a person to enter a string, you can just put str for string. So, run module, save. And nine, and that's it. That's all it does. It's stored in number one. So let's print num one. Let's see if it. And it prints nine. All right. So let's keep that for now. And how much? And then um, I'm just gonna make them enter in their name. What is your name? And then we're gonna set the name. Eh, this looks better. Name. We can do string. And input. And then let's add here. Name plus. And for this plus, um, basically it adds. Um, the variable to this um, string. So basically, this only works for strings. So basically, if you put your name Bobby, so it'll be, so it will add Bobby. Please enter in a number. Let's put a space here, and it will not work for integers unless if you put a comma. So let's run it. And save. Hi, what is your name? Bobby. Bobby, please enter in the number. And then 9. And then it prints out 9. So let's make this lower case. So, yeah. So I will be lazy. I'm just going to print this over. And please enter in another, another number. And we're going to set a different variable to that. Num to equal to int input and yeah so basically um what you guys can do is just print num1 plus num2 okay let's do k and then put Not convert it. Hmm. Oh, okay, I got it. That's why. Let's uh, run it again. Yeah, so basically, you guys do not need to um, uh, 
greet them or say what is your name. That's just for teaching purposes. So options and restart shell. Alright, so eighteen. So um basically you can do that, but if you want to make your code look a little bit cleaner and this is to set a variable to equal the two variables added together, you just do that. Looks cleaner plus um, further down the road you're gonna need to do that more often. So uh, let's do that. Bob B Bob yeah, so let's do nine nine eighteen. So basically um, you can divide so it'll be the same thing. So let's do Cody nine nine one. So yep. So um, this is by Redskins21 with uh, Python tutorial number 3 and you are just one step closer to making a calculator. So, this is Bobby Redskins21, see you guys later.